guys, welcome back to this week's video. And for today, I wanna to share with you my favorite fashion trends for this fall and winter. So I'm sharing the ones that just really stood out to me that I think are a really good fit for the more romantic and feminine style. I think these are very wearable trends. I'm really excited about all of them. I am the type of person that I just like to know what the fashion trends are, but runways are meant to be more dramatic. They're meant to inspire. The things that we see on the runway are gonna be a little bit more, I would say like on the unwearable side. They're just meant to be more dramatic versions of the trends that we're going to be seeing. But I do also have to mention that I do not like trends to rule my wardrobe. I really have found that investing in those classic pieces and enjoying the trends that speak to your style. I think it's so important to be true to your own style and not get sidetracked with trends. I think we've all been there before where we just you know, get a little out of hand with the trends. Just pick the trends that you think fit into your wardrobe. And you don't have to go to the most dramatic version of the trend either. You can do little hints, whether it's in accessories or just something like, you don't have to go all out. Before I get into all the trends though, if you are new here to my channel, very quickly want to introduce myself to you. I do have a new video for you every single Saturday. If you do want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe and then click that notification bell on the side. That's just gonna let you know as soon as my video is up. Every now and then I will have my video up either the day after or possibly even the day after that, just because during this time of year, it really is a very busy season for me. Sometimes with work and everything else that's going on, it just gets a little bit crazy. So make sure that you have that notification bell on so that you are notified as soon as my video is up for you. So something to keep in mind for fall and the winter season is that the trends for this year are all about dressing up. There is no such thing as being overdressed in 2022. The trends are also very nostalgic, which just makes my heart so happy because I love a touch of vintage. I love bringing in little hints of romance and that nostalgia into the outfits. So these trends are just very much speaking to my style. So we've got lots of the 80s, 90s, and 2000s kind of coming back into the fashion. Everything comes back. Everything comes back around, but there's always a new little twist to these trends. And I think we're really gonna enjoy these ones this year. So the suits and the Taylor clothing are making a huge comeback this year. This fall, it's a mixture of looking sharp, but then throwing in a more oversized and maybe even a romantic element to the outfit. Relaxing that sharp look a little bit, if that makes sense. For example, these are some items I actually came across on one of my favorite brands to buy more classic items from, and it's from Dish. I liked this outfit with the vest, the cream vest, and then the pleated trousers I think really adds that more relaxed element. There is this blazer and skirt outfit that I think is really pretty too. But just that idea of suits. I'm actually seeing a lot of pinstripe suits, the whole suit set and everything. Of course, you could always just do the blazer. And then I also came across this blazer from Love Shack Fancy. This is in their fall lookbook. And I just, I love the more tailored look. That really nice, like dressy blazer look, I think is really, really trendy this fall. Blazers always come back during the fall and winter, but there's always a twist to them and this year I think it's more of that an oversized fit. Now one way that I do want to bring this trend into my own wardrobe is through a vest. I actually came across this new brand that I haven't shared with you all yet. It's called Seven Muses and I came across these most beautiful tailored vests. They sell the most beautiful silk blouses with them as well. So this just stood out to me and I felt like it was such a, a unique way to bring in the vest trend and the whole like tailored look. So this is actually the vest that I have on my wish list and we will see if I can eventually add it to my wardrobe this fall. I really really love the whole like sloped cut in the front and then the the more like tailored buttons in the front. I just I love the whole shape of it. It really brings in the waist. We'll see if I can share this with you in the future. I would love to. One way that I have already invested in this trend is with this suit set from Karen Millen. This is in the florals, so it's very feminine, but you still have the tailored trousers, so very, very sharp together, but the blazer is like kind of like that oversized style. With this one, I like it because you do have the option to really bring in the waist with the tie, so I feel like it's not unwearable. It's very, 
it has a really nice silhouette to it. This is an example of how I plan to wear this trend as well. And also going back to the vests, I actually do have a vest in my wardrobe that's kind of like that more tailored look. It is from Mod Cloth. I got it a while ago. I recently showed it with more a more like romantic academia look with the puff sleeves, the very voluminous sleeve, and then that plaid vest included into the outfit. And I really, really liked this look, but I do think that I would prefer a neutral vest. I do like the fun print of this vest, but I feel feel like for me it's best to invest in a neutral vest and this vest right here from seven uses is just I think it would be a really good fit for my wardrobe the oversized blazer I think is a really great way to wear this the, the elegant suit look so taking an elegant more dressy piece like that and throwing it on top of like a whimsical romantic dress and this is a wool blazer that I currently am renting from newly at the moment that I think is a really good example of this of this um blazer trend because this one is more of that oversized that is on trend for this fall. It's kind of like um, the shoulders have a little bit of padding in there. Found that this style of blazer looks really pretty, just layered on top of a dress, just lightly thrown on your shoulders. I have gotten so many of that like romantic academia style from this blazer and I love it, including little hints like soft hair bows and little romantic hints and lace has really, really helped me bring this blazer trend into the romantic style. Like there's definitely ways to make it fit the feminine aesthetic. And the tailored pieces don't come in just tailored pants and tailored suits. They also come in the form of trench coats. And this is one discovery and that I have recently added to my wardrobe. This is a sleeveless trench coat that honestly is the most amazing transition into fall piece. Since I adore my puff sleeves, and my dramatic voluminous sleeve, sometimes I found them to be a bit unwearable with coats just because the sleeves are a little bit more restricting. So having something like this, I think is just so elegant and timeless and feminine, but it's a way to bring in this tailored look into your outfit and really dress it up. Even, even if you have a more casual outfit, throwing this on top just instantly dresses it up and gives you that sharp tailored look that's on trend this fall. I just love the cut of this with the buttons in the front, the tie around the waist, and it's lighter, but it'll add a layer to any outfit. A very popular style aesthetic that goes along with this more elegant tailoring and dress up is the romantic academia style and the light academia, the dark academia as well. So if you like those type of style aesthetics, I did do a romantic style academia video and I will leave that linked above for you if you're interested in getting some outfit inspiration. So definitely check that video out. So this next trend comes in two extremes. It's the extremely short mini length skirts and dresses in comparison to the mega maxis. So you've got the extremely romantic on the floor maxi lengths, which I am going to be going more so for the more maxi length pieces. And that's already very much present in my wardrobe. I came across this mini style. I thought it was just a really good example of the mini length, like the type of mini length that we're gonna be seeing. It's extremely short, like almost unwearable. I think this is where the trend of the over the knee boot comes in play, where you can wear those super short mini dresses and mini skirts in that kind of schoolgirl academia look, but then pairing them with over the knee boots, which is very much a huge trend as well. But a little bit of that pleating in the mini style and making it super flary and short. Flary? I don't even know if that's a word, but it flares out, you know what I mean? But this is an example of the type of maxi dresses that we're going to be seeing this year. And this one is in the form of a knit maxi dress. We'll see how if she wasn't wearing those platform heels, it would definitely be dragged on the floor. This is such a pretty wearable piece. And I do actually have something similar to this in my own wardrobe that I've already included. Um, I was wearing this a lot last year as well. It's just like one of those really nice knit style dresses with the long sleeve. It's super stretchy, it's very comfy, very wearable. I think this is a really easy trend to pull into your wardrobe, especially if you do like those like lighter knit styles in the fall, you can always layer them up. I love doing the whole crochet cardigan on top of them type of thing. I think that's a really cute look. And actually I found this example in my wardrobe as well of like the type of maxi lengths, like I'm talking extremely long, even like draping in the back maxi styles. And this is a skirt that I've had in my wardrobe for so long. I actually need to 
taken the waist a little bit of this skirt, but I wanted to show an outfit with this because this is the style of maxis that we're gonna be seeing this year, which I think we're gonna have to be careful about because with this skirt in particular, I have to be careful on what I wear this to. I think this is almost a little bit more of an unwearable version of this trend. I have to be careful where I wear it because I don't want the hem to get all dirty. So it is a matter of balance, like deciding what works for you, but I feel like this is a good example of the type of draping and maxi lengths that are going to be on trend for fall. I actually wanted to show this as an example of a fun way to wear the mini style. I think tweed is such a girly way to bring in the fall, a classy way to you because you can really get some classic pieces with the tweed, like those tweed jackets. I feel like this was a good example of how to wear the mini trend. One example that I do have of the mini styles is my linen midi dress, but this is an example of how the mini trend is gonna be a little bit more wearable for my style personally. Pairing your mini styles with things like tights, boots it's a great way to layer them up and make them kind of like more seasonally appropriate i like this idea of bringing more like mini styles and like dresses and stuff like that into the winter because it's kind of changing it up a little bit it's allowing us to bring in our classic pieces for the summer and spring and transforming them into more winter pieces This next trend is my absolute favorite. And I was, this is the one that I'm, I think I'm the most excited to chat with you about. The gloves. This is the most stylish and in fashion accessory that you can possibly have this year. And the gloves are in all sorts of different shapes and forms. You've got them in this cashmere, like opera length glove. You got them in the sheer styles with little bows, very delicate and vintage. Definitely more like the Audrey Hepburn. And because of my excitement of the gloves, I did a little bit of research and looking around trying to find a good brand to buy gloves from. And I ended up coming across this brand called Cornelia James. So I actually have two pairs to share with you. They come in these beautiful boxes. It just feels like such a luxury experience. This first pair is in one of their like lighter cotton styles because it's kind of one of those gloves I think is perfect for at least up until the end of fall. Maybe not so much for winter. Winter or pie will definitely want to change into more of the leather styles, but this is in their style Georgia and it's in that Swiss cotton. It's kind of like a nice dress glove. And this one is just the most beautiful dainty little glove. It has a little bow on there and it's so soft. I think it's such an easy way to wear the glove trend and you can wear this with everything. You can wear it with your sweaters, with your dresses. Like this is just such an elegant way to bring in the gloves. I mean, how adorable is this little bow detail too? Like you can actually style it so that the bow comes out on the side like that. So it looks like a little bow. And if you are afraid of white gloves, they I do have this in a black color as well. Since they're made in that really nice cotton material, they're super soft and they've just got little delicate details on them with the bow. They're nice and stretchy. They have a whole chart that you can measure to make sure that the gloves are gonna fit properly. And I'm even thinking these are gonna look so pretty with like romantic academia themed outfits as well. Even the whole box presentation is so, you're getting an experience and they have this little pouch that comes with them so you can store your gloves, keep them in the best condition possible for the longest amount of time. If you want to give a good unique gift, I think this is like the ultimate gift, especially if you have a fashion lover. Well, honestly, like for anyone, this would make such a great gift. This next pair, you know I'm going to go for something fancy. These are an opera pair of blush pink gloves and they are in this sheer style, but not just that, they have bows on them. I need a moment. And if you know my style and you've been watching my videos for a while, you know this is my style in a glove. These are soft pink gloves with nine bows, but tiny little detailed bows that are just so minimal and just slightly there, just a little bit of that girly detail. This is what I love about this brand because they pay attention to the details. Just the fact that this is on trend and this is the way to accessorize your outfit now, it just makes me so happy. I, I don't think I'm going to ever give up this trend now. So this glove is in their Jessica 
opera glove and you have to look at their opera gloves because they have so many different options and actually this Jessica glove comes in several different colors. They have the classic ivory, pure white, black, green, blue, like they have so many different color options for this exact glove. And this one is actually made in that sheer tool material. And both of these gloves, just so you are aware, were gifted so that I could share these with you. But these are an absolute dream. Like I can't believe I have these in my wardrobe now. Like I'm just I'm getting really excited. And with this pair of gloves, you get this beautiful presentation as well with the Cornelius James logo in the front. Really nice box. And then you also do get a whole little pouch to store the gloves in because these ones are definitely the fancy ones. So if you liked the look of either of these styles or you want to go peeking around on their website and see what else they have to offer, you can use my affiliate code Sarah Kathleen Romantic to get 10% off of your purchase. Look at the autumn winter section because they have some beautiful leather gloves in so many different styles and colors and lengths. I really, really love the options that this brand carries. Wanted to mention that and fill you in on my most recent obsession, the gloves. So the next trend that I want to talk to you about is the leather trend. And leather always makes a comeback in the fall. It's a really good material for fall and winter. I've been seeing leather in the form of, for instance, this pair of leather trousers. Wow, I cannot talk. Leather trousers. And I spotted these from Karen Millen. I actually have had my eye on these for a little bit, but actually the way I intend to wear the leather trend this year is just by renting from Newly. And this is why I love renting. It's one of the ways that I can get into the trends without going over my budget, you know? These are a few items that caught my eye on Newly. So first of all, this dress with like the leather corset top and then the tooling at the bottom of the dress. For me, this would be a date night dress. Like this is something I would wear for something like that. And I'm actually thinking, wouldn't those opera length gloves look amazing with that dress? I think it would just kind of soften it up. I like how the leather kind of makes it a little more edgy, but you still have that nostalgic corset style with the soft tooling. And then I love how she has the little clutch. Like I think this is just a beautiful way to wear this leather trend. Another item that really caught my attention was this leather pleated skirt with this um, handkerchief hem. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that handkerchief? Asymmetrical hem. Um, I think it looks very classy and very elegant at the same time. And I think it really does fit into the feminine style because you could take a piece like this with that edgy leather and pair with a romantic balloon sleeve blouse with soft boots pair the gloves with them. Like there are definitely ways to romanticize this leather trend. And I really, really loved the look of this skirt as well. I think it's a really beautiful leather piece that in my opinion, it doesn't look cheap. It looks expensive. It looks luxurious. Both of these are great ways to wear the leather trend. But then again, if you aren't into this leather trend, if you are into the, the head to toe leather, do something like leather boots the leather gloves. You can always pull in the leather in the form of accessories. This next trend that I'm going to talk to you about is the faux fur and the unique styled trench coats. In regards to faux fur, I am seeing faux fur in more oversized styled pieces. Once again, I think faux fur is something that comes back. This year we are seeing it in the form of like faux fur trimming in accessories, but also that oversized fit. I personally love the faux fur. I think it brings a certain type of elegance. It can bring edginess to it depending on the style piece that you go for. So I actually did just invest in my forever coat and it's this one back here. It's from Santini but this one has a little hints of faux fur. So this is definitely one of my favorite investments for this year because I think this coat is just so classic and it has that little hint of faux fur detailing in the coat and especially in the pink color too. It just fits so well into my wardrobe. I think you can also go on the opposite side where you can go very bold. And actually a really good example of this that I already have in my wardrobe is this shaggy faux fur jacket that I, I think I got this last year. This is from Free People and it's kind of like one of those oversized pieces. So oversized on trend. I love pulling this out in the winter winter, like when it is cold because this coat 
keeps me warm. But it is also very wearable at the same time because it's in a neutral color and it also is just, it's very cozy. It also looks really fun with flare pants, by the way. Like, <laughs> that was one of my favorite ways that I wore it last year. And in regards to the unique style trench coats, we're just seeing different versions of the trench coat and they're very creative. So for example, this trench coat, which is in that classic beige, very, very classic style, but you have that volume in the shoulders. Here's another example of a more sheer organza styled trench coat, which would act as a really good layer for right now, actually, as we're getting into the fall season. Also, that pleating, I think, is very much something that I'm seeing pretty much in everything. I'm seeing it in trousers, trench coats. I saw this trench coat with that leather and then the exaggerated shoulder. Came across this one, which I think is definitely a more dramatic version of the unique trench coat, but I just had to show it to you just to give an example. I would totally wear this. I mean, I'm sure it's 100% out of my price range, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of a fun way to freshen up the trench coat a little bit, add a little bit of edginess, flirtiness, whatever fits your style aesthetic, just find the little details that fit your style. I just, I really like this fresh approach to the trench coat. This next trend is another one that I am very much excited about. And it's this trend of sheer styles. When I first saw this whole sheer trend, I was like, how is this wearable for fall and winter? Because you really have to layer these things up to make them wearable for colder weather. But once you think about it, and once you kind of break it down, there are ways that we can wear the sheer trend. And this is one of like the biggest trends. The best styles that I have been coming across have been from the designer Self Portrait. I just have been seeing the most beautiful sheer styles from this brand. And this is one of my favorites that I came across. I thought it was so elegant. Layer a faux fur wrap on top of it, or faux fur coat, a trench coat, leather trench coat, and you can make this a more fall winter feel. I think this black lace sheer style is giving me fall romantic vibes if you pair the right layering piece with it. I personally am planning to wear this trend in the form of more like sheer sleeves, like sheer voluminous sleeves. Sheer lace gloves I think is another way to bring in a more minimal approach to this trend. And actually one of the pieces I have in my wardrobe is this classic Tory Burch blouse. It's long sleeve, so it really fits into the fall style, but it's that sheer lace. So this is one way that I personally plan to wear this trend is just with like a sheer lace blouse with the tank top styled underneath it. I think it's a very wearable way to bring this into more everyday wear. But I also did discover a couple pieces that I could rent off of Newly or that you could rent off of Newly that reflect this sheer trend. I came across this really pretty sheer ruffled blouse. Once again, just with the tank top layered underneath it, this is a really great way to wear this trend. Another good example is actually the sheer turtlenecks. This is also a piece on Newly that you can rent as well and that I probably am going to rent. I love that we can rent the same pieces. It's just kind of fun. And this one, I like this one is really pretty because it has like a almost like a fall leaf design on it and it's got like that you can just layer a tank top underneath it i think it's it's actually a pretty wearable trend and since i did some looking in my wardrobe just to find the sheer styles that i do already have in my wardrobe i actually came across this dress back here um i've had this sheer lace dress in my wardrobe forever and it's actually a little bit more of a dressy piece but it is long sleeved i could actually use it as like a tunic almost and wear it on top of like leather trousers or leggings even. I feel like that's a little bit more of a fashion forward outfit for me, but I do like my styling options with it. I actually just like it style on its own with the dress. I quickly wanted to show you one more example of how to bring this sheer style in because I think it actually can come in the form of crochet knit styles too. Kind of like see-through, but you layer it up type of thing. So you're getting that like layer aesthetic to your outfit. I actually am renting this crochet knit sweater. It's not necessarily sheer, but I mean, it has, I mean, it is like, it's kind of like an open knit, but I actually ended up styling it with this sheer skirt. This is a pleated skirt that I've had in my wardrobe for years. I think this is an outfit that I'm gonna kind of have set aside to wear in the next couple weeks here because I think this is a really great lighter transition into fall outfit. I also mentioned the corset and bustier tops. The corset styles are such a big trend. They have been for a while, but for this fall, I'm actually seeing the corset trend in the form of suits. So for example, I found this suit off of Karen Millen, just came in and it has like that whole hook 
styling with a very structured corset style, but it's also in the pants as well. And I actually loved the look of this whole suit set. I think I would do very well with the corset styled suit pants. I think it fits very well into my whole style aesthetic, but I also love how in Love Shack Fancy's lookbook, they styled this bustier top with a cozy oversized sweater. This is another great way to wear the bust top, just getting something that has that boning, a, a, like a crop top, and it doesn't even have to have sleeves on it. This is the type of thing that you can layer and layer and it's comfortable and you can take away layers when you get inside you know i do actually have a bust top that i've mentioned quite a few times but it's just a classic it's one of those basic pieces that's really great for layering and it's very similar to this it has that boning and that structure this one's nice too because it has the built-in bra so i don't have to worry about that but taking a piece like this and layering say a wool blazer on top of it and you have such a trendy look right there. A very minimal approach to this corset trend would actually be a wearing the wide belt. Wide belts are very much a trending piece this year as well. This fall, really good examples of this with the corset and wide belt trend is, I, I saw this in a Love Shack Fancy lookbook. But also this one from Free People, I think is a really pretty way. Even wear like your more oversized tunic styles. I like how this, the one from Love Shack Fancy has like the brooches on them. <laughs> It's so different, but it is that wider style. So we're seeing a lot of those wide belts. We're going to keep moving on. Let me just put these on my <laughs> coat rack here, clothing rack. Hope you all are surviving this long chat. The next big trend that I have to chat with you about is the check print and the floral print. Florals in my opinion, are always in fashion for, for fall, but this year they are a notable trend as well. But I wanna start with the check print because I have been seeing the most absolutely stunning check prints on the runway. And they are coming in all sorts of different clothing. I'm seeing them in like very classic tweed styles, coats, dresses, like just really pretty pieces. A check print that I recently tried on that I just absolutely loved. I didn't actually end up investing in it, but it was a beautiful piece to try on in this check print. And it was actually that more like girly approach. It was this check print from Love Check Fancy. It's their sherry coats. And I felt like this was just such a trendy piece. I just have been seeing the check print in such fun ways and I think the coat is a really great way to wear this check print. And as far as the fall florals, one of my favorite new arrivals in the fall floral dresses that I tried on recently is actually this dress. It looked really pretty with the opera glove or the white glove from Cornelius James. I think both of those would have paired really well with that dress. And it's one of those styles that I think is very wearable for fall, at least in my area, because it is the type of piece you can layer up. I threw a sweater on top of it and styled boots with it. And I think it's just such a beautiful fall look. More like winter themed items that I found in this more floral print on Newly, once again, so you can rent them if you like them. It's this floral kind of like puffer coat. It has like a really pretty floral prints on it and I love how it's mixed with a print so it's mixed with the polka dots but this is actually another outfit that I came across and this is also available on newly as well I'll leave it linked down below in my description box in case you want to rent this one too I am for sure going to rent these two pieces because I think this is just such a jaw-dropping outfit this is absolutely stunning and it's in the floral print so we are seeing lots of florals for fall All right, we are moving right along to the next trend, which is the fuzzy sweaters and textured knits. Let me show you the fuzzy sweaters first because I think this one is fun. I don't know that I personally am going to invest in the fuzzy sweaters. I felt like this was a good example of how we are gonna be seeing the fuzzy sweaters and that's in the form of like oversized cardigans. I felt like this second photo from the Love Shack Fancy lookbook for this fall was a really good example of how you can make the fuzzy sweaters very wearable. Kind of a more minimal wearable approach to this fuzzy sweater trend and it's this purple sweater with like the rose and the floral embroidery on it or so the floral the flowers popping off of it i think it's really cute and this purple soft pastel purple is definitely i think it's one of the colors of the year aside from pink and red the only example i could find in my wardrobe of this like fuzzy material was like this sweater this is kind of like a fuzzier cashmere it's a vintage Ralph Lauren sweater it has like the lace detailing on it but this is pretty much the only thing that I could find in my wardrobe that had this 
type of like fuzziness to it. Okay, so getting into the textured knits. Textured knits are very exaggerated this year. Like they're very heavy. A really good example of this is this look right here with the tweed and wool kind of mixed together. It really gives a very textured look, almost like mixing patterns, but there's just a lot of texture going on. This is also another example. I think this one is very wearable as well. And actually, if you notice at the bottom of the skirt, it has a little bit of that fringing. So a lot of texture going on. I have this sweater back here from, this is from Chic Wish, and it's a very affordable cardigan. I can actually leave it linked down below, but I love pulling that very oversized chunky knit sweater and it's in the pink color of course but I love pulling that out in the the winter especially because it's so cozy and it has a lot of that heavier texture that I'm talking about with this trend so looking for pieces like that that have a little bit more going on but they're still a very classic item very wearable and then this is actually a really good example of a very heavily textured item but it's in a very wearable piece it's like one of those jackets to throw on top of a an outfit maybe like a mini skirt or a mini dress. This is a really good example of like that heavy texture. Also has like little feminine details like the pearl buttons on there. So this is another way that I plan to wear this trend in my personal style. Outfit that I came up with recently that is very much wearable for right now since we're not quite into all out fall season is this white dress styled with a crochet knit cardigan. So kind of like that texture going on once again, but then I styled a belt with it, so it kind of romanticized it a little bit. So I feel like this is a really good example of how to wear that texture. We're getting into the next trend. Oh my goodness. The statement shoulders, high neck, and volume. The 80s are back in fashion in the form of shoulder pads. This fall, I'm seeing a lot of the sloped shoulders, so we're seeing them in the form of more so the jackets. Um, at least from what I've seen, they've been just very voluminous shoulders. And if you want to do like the most minimal approach to this, I think one way to do this is just wear off the shoulder. If you have like a V-neck, just slightly pull it off your shoulder or something. And a good example of that is this black dress. It's kind of like that off the shoulder, meant to be off the shoulder, very romantic. And it has like the ruffle detailing. This, by the way, is also a newly rental. It's from Maeve um, through Anthropology. And then in regards to puff sleeves, I think a really good example of the type of volume that we're seeing with the puff sleeves for autumn and fall is this thrifted sweater that I got off of the Real Real. It has like a very dramatic shoulder, so I kind of like that that come out but it's a little bit more of a wearable approach to this as well and it, this one is in like that cashmere style as well so it's perfect for fall and winter and it's in a really pretty neutral color as well but i love this one because it has a little hint of that girly detail with the bows on the sleeve and it's just a nice light sweater but it works really well as a layering piece you know it's a really good classic piece but it still goes along with those trends going for those ruffles getting volume that type of thing is very much on trend for fall and ruffles I I just will never tire of ruffles I think it comes along with my romantic style aesthetic but I absolutely adore ruffles I also mentioned the high neck we are seeing a lot of high neck pieces and a really good example of a wearable way to wear this is with just a silk top. This is one of my favorite silk tops from Lily Silk. And it has like that lace detailing on there that adds in the high neck. The high neck is so elegant, really dressing up once again. I get a lot of my inspiration from the Love Shack Fancy lookbooks. And I was seeing a lot of these like choker styled pieces as well, but they were very delicate. Like a, those pearl chokers with like the brooch styled on them. Oh my goodness, I was loving it. I don't think it would be something that I would necessarily wear. If you have a little bit more of that like edgy rebel look, doing that whole pearl choker would be such a fun way to bring in that like high neck trend. Okay, this next trend, aside from the glove trend, I think is one of the, the trends that I, I'm the most excited about, the feathers and the fringe. And this is making me so happy because it has like that vintage, nostalgic, it just reminds me of the flapper era. That's what I think of when I think of the feathering and the fringe. It just, it brings me back to the Great Gatsby and flapper and Downton Abbey. Like, all that is just so epic and romantic. I love it. So one of my favorite finds in regards to the feathering trend, and it actually fits really well into the sheer and crocheting it trend, this 
pink cardigan with the feather trim detailing. This is from a brand called And Andreva. Andreva. It is on my wish list. Oh my goodness, this is just the most beautiful way to wear this feathering. And I've, I've been seeing the feathering in all sorts of different things, but this is such a wearable way for the fall and winter, especially the fall, more so the fall, I would say. Um, I think this cardigan styled on top of just a plain white eyelet dress. I just think there's so many details to this that makes it a very unique piece and a unique approach to this trend, but it's also extremely wearable. They do also have it in a blue too. How beautiful is this? I wanted to give you an example of a wearable way to wear the fringing because this is a dress I came across on, this is from the Love Shack Fancy Lookbook once again. Definitely like that flapper style with the fringing. I have also been seeing the fringing in the, the way of like beaded styles and like Western. So that is an approach as well. But I personally like the more flapper approach with the, just like the, the material kind of like movement. I wanna say movement is what is the trend. And this this piece definitely has that movement. But I like how it was transformed into a more winter piece, like fall winter piece with a heavier knit styled on top of it. And once again, that knit has a lot of that texture going on. I thought this was a good example of that flapper look but in a modern way. So once again, both the feathering and the flapper fringe styles can be worn in the form of accessories. I've actually even seen them in the form of boots as well. A really good example of how to wear this feathering, glamorous, old Hollywood glam type of trend is with this pair of gloves. These are actually from Cornelius James. Vintage, glamorous, this with a classic black mini dress. You've got Audrey Hepburn and old Hollywood glam all in one, like just, I just have two more trends for you. We're on trend number 11. Denim is, I think, one of the biggest trends, seeing lots of denim. And actually, a couple of my favorite styles have come from Alice and Olivia. This is a pair of floral embroidered denim jeans in that wide leg style that I think are really pretty and a wearable way to wear this. But also, I saw this dress from Alice and Olivia as well, a full out denim dress. And I actually really liked the look of this one. I am like, I'm not sure if denim is quite my thing, but I do like certain things that I'm seeing. I, as long as I can get them in a unique approach, more feminine and you know more bold pieces, I definitely am liking some of these denim pieces. I spotted a few newly pieces that would be great to rent if you are into this denim trend, but you want to do it on a budget. This faux fur collar with the trench coat style, layered on top of jeans, like a very neutral outfit, but the denim is very powerful in this outfit. I really like this one, but like the whole denim on denim. Like there's even a denim bralette, like the, the head to toe denim once again, kind of like the head to toe leather. I think these are a, a fun way to wear the denim as well. The last trend that I wanted to talk to you about is actually a little bit of a surprise for me because I wasn't expecting this, but the white top. I think all of us probably have one of these in our wardrobe, or like a white tank top even, but it is a great layering piece. I think we can take the white tank top and the white blouse or like the white sleeveless blouse and kind of bring it into our wardrobes in a way that fits our style. So I actually personally needed a white, just basic layering piece in my wardrobe. So I recently thrifted this um, lace tank. But something like this, if you can just kind of layer it up as needed to fit where you are, I think this is this is a very much a trending piece, just having a basic white item. Using it as a creative layer, as a really good base of an outfit, and you can come up with a lot of really pretty outfits just using a basic piece like this. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to mention the sneakers. We are seeing a lot of this, the tennis shoes and sneakers on the runway, and Thank goodness, because there is a lot of dressing up, but it is wearable. But adding in like the more casual pieces like the sneakers just makes it all, all the better. Those are the trends that I really wanted to hit on for this video. I do plan to have a whole video dedicated to outfit inspiration for the fall trends. I wanted to sit down and actually chat with you about the main trends that really stood out to me that I think are really good fit for the more feminine style. But I did also want to quickly touch on a couple other trends that I noticed that you might be interested in. Rouged and gathered in bodycon dresses are very 
much a trend this year. I've been seeing a lot of these, um, especially the rouged detailing. Lots of cutouts, but they are more elegant and minimal. I'm seeing more minimal cutouts. Monochromatic looks, once again, actually pink and red are huge colors for this year. I will always wear pink, but it's just fun that it is an actual trend. So there are more pieces becoming available that are in that pink color that I love. In regards to party season with New Year's Eve and Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of that, the sequins and velvet, metallics, lighter um, materials as well with that sheer metallic shimmer in them. They always come back for the party season, but definitely seeing a lot of those in upcoming formal wear and all of that. And actually a color combination that I'm seeing a lot of and that I was noticing a lot as I was doing my research for this video is I'm seeing a lot of creams and browns style together and it makes sense because those are definitely autumn colors but I just thought I would mention that like I'm seeing so many beautiful like white dresses paired with soft brown knits and like definitely like an orangey undertone that is all the fashion trends that I want to talk with you about today I feel like I've definitely kept you for a very long time but we had to talk about these fashion trends and I really wanted to bring them to you in the way that I could share a little bit of outfit inspiration. I do have lots of outfit inspiration planned for you that will reflect these trends in a very wearable way. So hopefully you are excited for the trends. I personally just like talking about them. They're so much fun just to know and you can kind of choose the ones that you want to partake in, but I hope you got some ideas. So that is all that I have to share with you in this video and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.